Father. Welcome to our Eucharist celebration today. In this month, we are praying that God may establish peace between Ukraine and Russia, and may He console and comfort the families of Ukraine. Mr. and Mrs. Samson Korea are praying to God that He may help them solemnize their marriage. We are praying for Kenya as we are approaching elections that the peace, love, and unity of our God may be upon our nation. We are also praying for all the school children that God may protect them during this holiday and keep them away from all evil and harm. Prayer for the beatification of Father Patrick Payton, CSC. Dear yes. Jesus, Father Payton devoted his Christian life to strengthening the families of the world by calling them to pray together every day, especially the Rosary. His message is as important for us now as it was during his life on earth. We beg you, therefore, to hasten the day of his beatification so that your faithful people everywhere will remember his message that the family that prays together stays together. We will imitate him in his devotion to your mother and ours, and we will be doing to do ever closer to you with childlike confidence and love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison. You came to call sinners, Christe Eleison. Christe you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who delight in innocence and restore it, Direct the hearts of your servants to yourself, that caught up in the fire of your spirit, you may be found steadfast in faith and effective in works. This is our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the name of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph more than any other of his children because he was the son of, of his old age and he made him a long robe with sleeves. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock near Shechem, and Israel said to Joseph, Are not your brothers pasturing the flock in Shechem? Come, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. They saw him afar off, and before he came near to them, they conspired against killing him. And they said to one another, Here comes this dreamer. Come now, let us kill him and throw him into one of the pits. Then we shall say that the wild, a wild beast has devo devoured him, and we shall see what <coughs> will become of his dreams. But when Reuben heard this, he delivered him out of, this, of their hands, saying, let us not take his life. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood. Cast him into this pit here in the wilderness, but lay no, lay no hand upon him, that he might rescue him 
out of their hand to restore him to his father. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped, they stripped him of his robe, the long robe with the sleeves that he wore, and they took him and cast him into a pit. The pit was empty, there was no water with water in it. Then they sat down to eat. And looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels bearing guns, balm, and mire, and their way to carry it down to on their way to carry it down to Egypt, then Judas said to his brothers, What profit is it if we slay our brothers, our brother and cancel and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites. And let no let no let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And they drew Joseph up and lifted him up of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. 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 But he called down a famine on the land. He broke their staff of bread. He had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph sold as a slave. Remember the wonders the Lord had has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. His feet were weighed down in chain. His neck was bound with iron until what he said came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Then the king sent orders and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him master of his house, a ruler of all his possessions. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. That's before the gospel. Lord, we praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should have eternal life. <coughs> Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a householder who planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it, and dug a wine press in it and built a tower, and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season of fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit, and the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did the same to them. Afterwards he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and have inheritance. And they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. When therefore the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? He said to him, He will put those wretches to a miserable death and leave the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures, The very stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? 
This was the Lord is doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation producing the fruits of it. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard these parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. But when they tried to arrest him, they feared the multitudes because they held him to be a prophet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In most relationships, for things to seem to be very real, hatred is real, jealous is real, envy is real, and finally, betrayal is real. You as ambassadors and agents to family relationships, um, family life and marriage life, today the Lord is inviting you to guard the gift he has given you. Protect it, tend, take care of it. For your life is not guaranteed until it is ensured with Jesus Christ. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And that was the Lord is doing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to eat by a devout way of life. It's our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we praise and acclaim your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May call it out for these gifts, we pray, by sending down a spirit upon them like they do for so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis Apple and Philip our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints of this youth throughout the ages, we may be able to be co-heir to Go heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, takes away the sins of the world, blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worried that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blood of Christ. Amen.
having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promise. Grant your people, O Lord, we pray, health of mind and body, that by constance in good deeds, they may always merit the defense of your protection. Give them the grace to take care of the gifts you have given them, their jobs, their family, their parents, their spouses. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father. Oh, my sins are...